It has now been two months to this day since Star Wars Battlefront, the classic collection, was released. And we're going to be going through today in this video to see if this game is still worth playing, if it's worth buying if you've not bought it already. Are there any people playing it? Let's have a look together. Seduce me. You. Seduce me. What? Spy, I ain't gonna seduce me! If you go on to enjoy this video and would like to see more content like this, or if this helps you at all, please consider leaving a like on this video. And while you're here, drop a subscribe as well, that would be much appreciated. And comment down below what you think of this game. Do you still play it? Are you going to play it? Or will you actually buy it in the future? Let me know. Star Wars Battlefront, the classic collection. This game has been one of the most hyped up Star Wars games that I have seen in a very, very long time. This is purely down to just the nostalgia that was going to be revived this year. In 2024, we were going to be able to play our childhood games online and with everybody, split screen offline, Galactic Conquest, Heroes vs Villains, the lot even with the new additions of Asaz Ventress and Kit Fisto, this game was massive before release. The Classic Collection was released on the 14th of March 2024, so a mere two months ago, two months ago today, this game was released. On the official StarWars.com website, they had this blog post that was released on the 7th of March this year, hyping up this game to the absolute maximum. Just have a look at this. Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection, which sees the beloved Star Wars Battlefront and Star Wars Battlefront 2 introduced into a new generation, being released on all of the major platforms, including Nintendo Switch, which is pretty huge. And they are arriving for the price of $35.01. Why one cent? I don't know. The one major selling point of this game was the fact that the collection features restored online play for up to 64 players. So what could possibly go wrong? This is a big company with a massive name and they've probably pumped quite a lot of money into this. So what could go wrong on release? This is where the fun begins. It took mere minutes after the game was released for people to experience the absolute mess of online multiplayer that this game had. At launch, they experienced critical errors with the network infrastructure which resulted in incredibly high ping, and I mean up to about 5-600 plus. Matchmaking errors, crashes, servers not even appearing in the browser. And then they go on to say that since launch they've been working to fix these issues, all of which until the network infrastructure was stabilised to prevent further outages. Over the next coming weeks, they actually ended up fixing all of these issues and making the multiplayer a slightly better place to be in. Not perfect by any means though. After all of these issues and so many people in the thousands actually refunding this game, their name was pretty tarnished. With a very, very strong opinion from the public and all of the player base from this game, there have been thousands of refunds, horrible comments, bad reviews online. The list just goes on and on and on. It's got very bad press from videos as well on YouTube especially. But today, we're going to have a look two months later is it too late? Has this game been saved? The updates that came out have actually made this game more playable now, but has the player base all just packed up and left? Because I'm pretty sure over half the people who bought this game actually refunded it. The gameplay you're seeing in the background is recorded by myself the other day on the 12th of May on a Sunday in the evening time where the server had about 17 people in it. I'm now going to check at the online multiplayer play account on PlayStation 5. This is what I own it on. I don't own it on PC. I only own it on PlayStation, so let's have a look. All right, so now we're loading in, so we want to go to multiplayer, and we're going to go on join. And when we go to join, this is every single thing. Oh my god. Do they only have three servers? Three servers? With only one person available as well. That is just crazy, isn't it? One player. One player at all, and that is it. Uh, we go to quick to launch it, and we go straight to Battlefront 2. Let's go. Of course, we have this absolutely iconic front screen. Oh, I love this screen so much. It brings back so many memories, man. Anyway, let's go in to the multiplayer right here. So multiplayer, search. So we have any for every single option. So let's click accept and see how many people are playing. So we have two there. 10 there. Okay, that's 12. That's more than the other one. 13, 14. 14 players. It's better. It's better than the first one, but still. So on PlayStation 5, there are 14 people playing this game. 
online. Of course, there definitely will be people playing this offline on Galactic Assault, Instant Action, etc. And also people who want to play it split screen on the console games. But for a game that only came out two months ago, to have such a small player base online is just disgraceful. Especially when you look at the numbers right here on Steam as well. So every player who's on Steam, online or offline, it is just so sad to see. Honestly, I'm so gutted. And I'm pretty disappointed in Aspire because I was really hyped up for this game. I was one of the crowd. I pre-ordered this game. I was hyped. I played it as soon as it came out and I was instantly disappointed and angry, frustrated. But the main reason why I did not refund this game was to make videos and show people who did end up refunding the game whether it was a good idea or not. To be completely honest, I would say if you refunded it, then fair play, I would have done too. But if you like playing the offline mode and don't have access to a PC or a PlayStation 2 for example, yes you can play this, that's absolutely fine. It still works offline and it looks pretty good, it looks better than the original. But in my opinion, if you have a PC that has any kind of capabilities, it doesn't need to be good. Get the original versions, they are way cheaper. Not to mention they also have running online servers and a higher player count, so you will find more lobbies and more full lobbies, so it's a no-brainer. There is also a mod that enables more maps, better graphics, even maps that have the ability to go from space, fly into the ground and join the ground battle. It is amazing. It is called Battlefront 3 Legacy. I'm definitely going to make a video on this soon because it is awesome. If you've made it this far into the video, if you could smash a like and leave a comment down below that says dead game, just to let me know that you made it to this part of the video. So in terms of the actual in-game gameplay, so you're in a server, just like I am in the background here, what is it like? Can you shoot people now? Because the hit registration used to be terrible. Well, you can hit the bots very easily now, they don't have a lot of health, they're easy to kill, however, other real players are more difficult to hit, and to be honest, when you're using the regular assault class with the machine gun, it doesn't work very well. That's why I use this shotgun class, because when you hit your shots, it deals a massive load of damage. So if you're planning on playing this game online, definitely start off using this shotgun class because it packs a punch. So what does the future hold for the Star Wars Battlefront collection? To be completely honest with you, I don't think it's going to be that great. I think this game will die very soon. If it's not already, it's probably classed as a dead game already, but people still do play it every now and then. I just think with everybody refunding the game and all of the poor comments, there's not really much of a future for this game. It does suck because the base game itself is actually pretty decent. Maybe they will turn it around though. Maybe it might actually revive itself and people will start to jump back into this game. They'll need some sort of big discount just to get people back into playing the game. But I've been proven wrong before and I really hope I'm proven wrong again because I do actually enjoy playing this game when I come back to playing it. I will regularly come back to this game maybe once a month just to see what the actual game is like. See if it's actually dead, if there's still people playing it. I don't know. Anyway, let me know down below what you think of this game and what you thought of the video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.